Yo, 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 what's going on guys? I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're a first time viewer here, my name is Chase and today I will be showing you guys a website I have made with the Twitch API. This one was a really fun one to build and I'm excited to just be able to show it to you guys on camera today. So without further ado, let's dig into it. All right, so before I actually show you guys the website, I just wanna to talk to you about the vision of the entire project and how it came to be. So I used to stream on Twitch quite a bit and spoiler alert, I think I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch again. So definitely drop a follow down below if you want to watch me code live. I think it'll be really fun, especially if I can interact with you guys. But after I had been streaming quite a bit, I realized that for newer streamers, it was just increasingly difficult to get discovered on the platform, especially if newer streamers chose to stream in categories that were really highly populated as far as view count goes. So think of Fortnite, Call of Duty, any AAA title with a big view count. If you're streaming for the first time, you're gonna be right at the bottom of that list and it's gonna be really hard for anyone that's just casually scrolling through to really find you. So I wanted to create a website that made it easier to find these newer streamers. Now at the time that I was thinking of this website, I thought of another YouTuber who goes by the name Cody Warner and his movement that he essentially created and that is called no small creator and i loved the idea i loved everything it stood for and so i decided to name this website no small streamer so i kind of niched it down to just the twitch platform but essentially no small streamer is a mern stack application using the twitch api the Twitch API was honestly the best part of this project because I had used the platform so much, but I didn't know how the data was working behind the scenes, so it was really fun to, to play around with that. As a whole, I wanted the user to be able to log in, search for a game category, but also search for a view count. Now, the way I handled the view count was a user could enter a view count, say they entered 20, and then if they entered a game and pressed search, there'd be a list of users that were streaming to 20 people or below. So it was really easy to just choose the amount of people you wanted to essentially be watching the streamer with and then be able to discover that streamer. So that is kind of how it all came to be. And then I'll show you a little bit of the features that I added when we get to the project. So I think that's enough talking for now. Let's actually get to the project itself. All right, so here we are. This is No Small Streamer. This is the landing page. But before I actually get into it, I do want to say I did make this mobile first. So it is mobile friendly. It is completely responsive. But I just wanted to actually show you guys primarily the desktop version just because it's easier to see. So this is the landing page. Really simple. Just tells the user what this place is about. Place to discover hardworking growing streamers. You can find streamers in hidden popular categories. Help them grow and direct links to users channel so it's, it's actually really simple so everything is actually behind um, logging in registering so I'm already registered I'm logged in so let's find some streamers so let's head to search and simply type in a game you want to see and the number of viewers you want to interact with so like I was saying before pretty simple I've already searched for a bunch of games. I'm gonna search for Overwatch because that's one of my favorite games. And let's just say I want to view, let's say 30 people. So we'll view 30 people. And here we get a list of streamers. So starting with 30, if there is that kind of option. And as we scroll down, you can see the viewer count just slowly gets lower and lower and lower. So it really just shows you everyone below the number you input, which to me is exactly how I wanted it to be. So it's working out perfectly. So you can see the, the titles of the streamers, um, the names, the viewer, and then there's a button view on Twitch as well as an upvote, add to watch later button and downvote. So um, the way the upvote and downvote works is that there is a community leaderboard over here. So you can see all the uh, streamers that have been upvoted by really any user that has access to the site. So I, I kind of wanted to make this as a way to give that extra level of spice for discovering newer streamers. So, so if someone actually likes, say, Andrew JRT and they want other people to discover them uh, and maybe it might be harder because he only streams one game. Uh, so upvoting them is an easy way for just more people that maybe that don't watch that game to actually view that streamer 
So let's go back to search. Let's uh, type Overwatch in again. And then here is where things get interesting. Um, you can view them on Switch. Takes you directly to the page, easy enough. And that's kind of the point of the website is get in, find the stream you want, and then help them out on Switch. Uh, but um, I can add this person, say, to my watch later. Say I don't have time and I want to watch him later. Great, users added to watch later. Say I actually enjoyed the stream and he's doing a great job. Well, let's upvote him. Yeah, upvote's been given. Perfect. Okay. So I've added him to my watch later. Let's go check that out. Let's go to profile. And here, hello, test three. <laughs> um, you can find streamers, edit your account, and then uh, let's go to the watch later. So here you can see the user that I've added. And from here, I can either go to his Twitch stream or I can delete him off the watch later list. So he's gone, there's nothing left. So really that's kind of it with the site. It's really designed for you to get in and out pretty quickly, discover that streamer and then get to chatting with them and uh, helping them grow really. So that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it guys, that is no small streamer. It really is designed to be pretty simple. Get on the website, discover someone new and then give all your attention to that person and help them grow on Twitch. So if you like this video and you actually want to use the website, I will leave that in the description below. And if you loved it, be sure to like it, leave a comment and subscribe so you can see more of me. Have a great day guys, peace out.